Hi, in this month's uh, vlog, we're going to introduce our new page on traumatic brain injury. Uh, traumatic brain injury is one of the most uh, serious topics uh, and types of injuries that we handle at the firm. Uh, brain injuries can occur in a wide variety of settings, sometimes sports for kids, uh, slips and falls, falls off of bicycles, things like that for children, uh, adults too, of course. Um, car accidents, and that doesn't. And, and I think it's important to understand uh, that you can have a traumatic brain injury, uh, and that doesn't mean uh, that you've had a concussion. Uh, certainly, a concussion is a an important symptom and something that would trigger doctors to look for a traumatic brain injury. However, uh, first responders, ER docs, very often miss a brain injury. Uh, caused uh, by an event that does not result in a lack of consciousness. Um, and that's because it's hard to test for. It's hard for the person to um, recognize those symptoms and relate them to the doctor at that time. And very often these symptoms will come on over the course of time. Uh, people will start to notice um, you know, that, they're, that they're just not thinking straight, that their uh, short-term memory is impaired, maybe they're having trouble finding words, uh, irritability, uh, not feeling like yourself or that you have complete control over uh, your thought processes and your emotional uh, ability as you did prior to your accident. Uh, these are all signs that you may be suffering from a traumatic brain injury and need to have that checked out. The good news is, is most traumatic brain injuries that do occur uh, heal up over the course of 90 to 120 days. Uh, the symptoms fade away, and uh, most people go back to being absolutely normal. Uh, unfortunately, some people do not, and some brain injuries you know, get progressively worse. They can be linked in with uh, um, uh, more uh, psychological injuries caused from a, a similar event, such as a little bit of PTSD, which is also a somewhat normal um, reaction that uh, people have if you have a serious car accident because you recognize uh, if you were doing nothing wrong that somebody else can come out of the blue and completely alter or, or end your life and there's nothing you can do about that that very often kind of makes people um, look at the act of driving and their accident as uh, kind of a more revelatory um, incident but uh, this this intertwining with the traumatic brain injury is very important um, and treatment, of course, is needed for all of these things, as it, it can be quite effective. Um, and uh, we have a lot of resources on our new site or on our new page. Uh, and we also, if you look at our blog, you'll see that we keep up uh, at the firm with all of the recent studies on traumatic, traumatic brain injury, its effects, and uh, the uh, remedial measures that doctors can take to help uh, people who have suffered that injury. Um, it's, a, it's an area that we take very seriously, uh, put a lot of time and effort into understanding uh, so that we can represent our clients to the best of our ability. Thanks very much.